Hi friends, I'm Gina with Country Family Values, and today we're making a potato and sausage soup with spinach in the Instant Pot. Let's do it. So I've got the saute on and I'm starting with a pound of sausage. I'm gonna break that up and let it cook. And to be honest, sometimes I do use two pounds. It's just kind of up to you. You could also use Italian sausages. Just remove the casing. If you use the spicy kind, just remember you might want to eliminate the red pepper flakes that I'm adding here in a bit. As a lot of that pink leaves, I'm going to add my onion. I have one medium chopped onion. I have one small green bell pepper and one small red bell pepper. It comes to it came to just barely over a cup. Once this gets done, if yours needs drain, definitely do that. Mine doesn't have much in the way of oil in there, but if yours does, and you want to get rid of it, go for it. So the onions and bell peppers are beginning to get cooked. They've cooked for about three minutes, and so I'm going to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. And then I'm going to add two cups of broth to work on deglazing this so that I don't get the burn notice. I will be adding more here in a bit, but I just want to be able to kind of deglaze this right now. I have two teaspoons of Italian seasonings. I have four cups of potatoes cut up. I have mine peeled, but you don't have to do that. You can wash yours really well and, and leave the peelings on if you like. I have a bit of carrot. About one carrot. You could put two if you wanted. I have about a half cup of mushrooms sliced up. About a stalk of celery. Another two cups of broth. I'm using a, a quart of tomatoes, but you could use two 15 ounce cans of tomatoes. And I have four cups of spinach that I'm putting in here. You can wait until the end if you want, if you'd rather not uh, put that in all together. I mean, it does cook up to nothing. So I usually just put it in there all at the same time. Make sure your knob is in the ceiling position. Turn off your saute button. Hit manual or pressure cook and set it for 10 minutes. So the timer's gone off and this is actually natural released for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna finish it off here. Oh, my favorite part. Some people do like to add some cream to theirs. Sometimes they like to add some cheese. Definitely welcome to do that if you like. Mmm, that's really good. That's really good. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.